This is how you do the glute bridge using a resistance band if you've got these around the house. This is a great way of making this exercise a little bit more challenging to engage those glute muscles and the leg muscles with the core to provide spine stability and start your journey to strengthening this posterior chain. It's best done on the floor, but you can do it on the bed if you need to. And we'll start by having the band across the front of our hips, basically at the junction where our thighs meet our body and then we're gonna have our hands pinned to the floor to create the tension. So as we go higher, it's going to increase the resistance on the exercise. And the same training points as other exercise, we're gonna engage our core nice and tight, holding our spine nice and still, and squeezing up as high as we can without moving our spine, coming down to hover our bum off the floor without resting completely. So get yourself into position, We'll do 10 reps together. Lay your band across that area of your lower abdomen. Start with a nice core engagement. So belly breath in and breathe out. Nice and tight through the core. Continue breathing normally, but keep your core nice and engaged. Pin that band onto the floor with a nice engagement of your arms. Keep everything tight and here we go. Lift up for one and back down, up for two and back down, up for three and back down up for four, and back down, up for five, and back down, up for six, and back down, up for seven, and back down, up for eight, and back down, up for nine, and back down, up for 10, and back down. Relax and pop yourself up when you're ready. If you find this demonstration helpful, check out the link down below for free access to our extensive library to stay injury-free while you're getting back in shape.